Super Family Pinnipedia by Ella Finkelstein. Translated into English, pinna means fin or flipper and ped means foot. Pinnipeds are under Kingdom Animalia, Felum Chordata, Class Mammalia, and Order Carnivora. Pinnipeds can be separated into three different families. The first being the Fossidae, or earless seal, the second being Oteriidae, or eared seal, and the third being Odebenidae, or walrus. This graph shows that the pinnipeds are also related to the Ursidae and the Mustelidae. My big question is, how do these three families connect into one superfamily? Pinnipeds mostly inhabit polar and subpolar regions, though monk seals do inhabit the Hawaiian Islands, and sea lions are found on the Galapagos Islands. The majority of pinnipeds are either found in the North Atlantic, North Pacific, or the Southern Ocean. A walrus is usually 2.4 meters in length and can weigh anywhere from 800 to 2,000 kilograms. The gestation period of a walrus is approximately 15 months. The newborn will weigh anywhere from 33 to 85 kilograms and will be 100 to 140 centimeters in length. Walruses only mate once a year. Females are entertained by males in the water. One or two males perform to about 23 females. They will perform a series of vocalizations above and below water. Muscles beside their throat are used as flotation devices and amplifiers. The male walruses serenade while floating and click their teeth, whistle, and make bell noises until a female is impressed enough to hop in the water and mate. Next is a video of a walrus making mating calls. Speak! <laughs> harbor seal is approximately 6 feet in length and 300 pounds. The gestation period for the seal is approximately 11 months, and when the pups are born, they weigh around 24 pounds and are around 24 inches. Female sea lions are 4 to 9 feet in length and weigh approximately 100 kilograms. Male sea lions are 6.5 to 11 feet in length and weigh approximately 300 kilograms. A sea lion's gestation period is 12 months. When the pups are born, they are 30 inches in length and around 20 pounds. Pinnipeds can live up to 40 years and reach sexual maturity at 7 years. Pinnipeds have 32 to 34 chromosomes. Walruses have 32 chromosomes with one metacentric pair, and seals have 34 chromosomes. Walruses have short flippers with 5 digits of equal length, and each digit has a small claw. While swimming, the walrus holds its flippers to its body and uses them for steering. Its triangle-shaped hind flippers are used to alternate strokes to propel themselves in water. Watch the walrus's hind flippers as it swims away. On land, walruses use their four flippers for walking. They can rotate their hind flippers under their pelvic griddle, therefore allowing them to walk on all fours. Walrus tusks are anywhere from 36 to 100 centimeters. Their tusks are used to haul themselves out of the water and to break breathing holes into the ice from below. Male walruses use their tusks aggressively, mostly to maintain territory. Like walruses, seals use their fore flippers for steering and their hind flippers to swim. Seals can reach a speed of 18 miles per hour, whereas walruses can only reach a speed of 6 miles per hour. Seals are better adapted to live in water rather than on land. Their hind flippers angle backward and don't rotate, which makes them body crawlers and they are unable to walk on all fours. The way sea lions swim are completely opposite from walruses and seals. They use their strong front flippers for power while swimming and their back flippers for steering. Watch the sea lion's four flippers as it swims. Sea lions are better adapted to live on land rather than in the water. Like walruses, sea lions can rotate their back flippers, which makes it possible for them to walk and run on land. 
Pinnipeds are an order carnivora, which means they eat strictly meat. A typical diet for a pinniped would be mollusks, such as squid or clams, or fish, which would typically be the polar cod. Walruses typically prey on intervertebrates, such as sea cucumbers, crustaceans, or worms. Leopard seals also prey on other seals and penguins. The pinniped's digestive system starts in the stomach and continues to the small intestine, then to the large intestine, then to the rectum, and then to the anus. The waste is then released from the anus. The superfamily Pinnipedia used to consist of four families, the Desmat fossidae being the fourth. Unfortunately, it had gone extinct. All pinnipeds share one common ancestor called the Analiarctos. The Analiarctos was thought to be alive anywhere from 24 to 30 million years ago. Unlike modern pinnipeds, the Analiarctos' skeletal structure suggests it used its four flippers and hands for swimming. The Analiarctos was alive through the transition from the Paleogene to the Neogene period, which was the period of global cooling culminating in the Ice Ages. Adaptive radiation may have been what caused the Analiarctos to evolve. As the temperature gets colder, a new environmental niche is introduced. This may have been what caused the Analiarctos to evolve the rubber that modern pinnipeds have as thermal regulation. The blubber is now what they use for buoyancy and energy storage. To answer my big question, the Phosidae, Oteriidae, and the Odebenidae are connected in several ways. They all share a common ancestor. They all share common bodily structures, such as their finned feet. They are both land and water mammals. They share similar diets. And they have close to the same amount of chromosomes. Fun facts about pinnipeds. Pinnipeds, like other animals, have bones in their penis. These are called baculums. This is what was passed around the class. Another fun fact is the milk that the mother offers to the pup is up to 50% fat. And that is my presentation on the superfamily Pinnipedia.